Yeah, we're probably going up on this farm. Yesterday we managed uh, an Irish penny of uh, Edward I that was uh, struck in Dublin. Today we're up on a different field. We're up on these, see these little rocks in front of us? There's a little bit of ridge and furrow in the corner of this field. Uh, I'm getting a few copper farthings in that. Well, how the birds are singing and uh, even the sun's come out this afternoon, which, uh, you know, is quite surprising. Uh, just, uh, I've been doing these bloody signals all afternoon along here. There's quite a lot, of, quite a lot of good signals. Uh, just one down there. Yeah, it's bloody tough going. Take the phones out so I can hear this one. I've had a couple of couple of hammered coins up here before, so uh, no surprise. If you look there, so it is a it's either a quarter or a. You see him in the clod there. Let me get me little lens out and I'll. Uh, We'll see if we can uh, reveal this one. It looks like a, it's a hammered anyway. Uh, they're not not too. You've had a couple on this field. There's not too many. I I shortened the gold max coil down when I had the plug refitted, and ever since then I'm pretty sure. There we go. I'm pretty sure the um, coil is hotter. Certainly seems to be. Let's have a look. Do with a bit of more light on the job, but you can't help the can't help the weather. <laughs> oh, it's a cut coin. It's going to be a medieval coin. Oh, the sun's come out just in time. Uh, it's a cut coin, long cross, cut half penny of uh, probably Henry the Third. Oh well, it's a good little startlet. As I say, uh, that little call, it does get the little cut coins. Yeah, there we are, look. You can make out his uh, features there. That's a long cross penny, Henry III. Obviously, uh, Henry III only struck long cross coins, but that one there, if you look very carefully, you can make out the mint. Must survive on there. Oh, you. It's like, see, Gloucester. That's from the Gloucester Mint, that's up the road. Oh well. Brilliant job. So, this bit of ridge and furrow up in the medieval times, they wandered up here and they did a little bit of farming, so. Ah, brilliant. It's nice to get a hammered. I got the old uh, the coils doing the business. Let's see if we can get anything else. As you can see, that little cut coin this afternoon is a rather nice long cross cut half penny of Henry the Third, as you can clearly see there. With the uh, the mint signature is for um, Gloucester. You can see the uh, O-U-C-E quite clearly with a nice rounded little E. Uh, the British practice for cutting the old um, pennies down into uh, pennies and halfpennies was to provide uh, small change because there wasn't anything below a penny in the Middle Ages. And as you can see, uh, they used to shear them in half to make two half pennies. And um, some more recently examples here of uh, farthings. So you've got two Scottish cut farthings and one uh, English long cross there. You've got three farthings there and these were sheared by the peasants who worked in them fields to provide small change. It wasn't till much later in the 17th century when small change was really uh, introduced but Gold Max it does find these little cut ones and uh, since I've um, shortened the lead down, because I don't use it hip mounted anymore, it um, would appear to be even hotter. I don't know where it's my imagination, but there you go.
We've certainly managed to find a few of the uh, fractional coins lately, and um, we shall um, endeavour to find some more whole ones. 